I got a little break from the snow and the cold and I'm outside working on the prison bus and I've got a handful of clamps here and a couple of screwdrivers and I'm just uh, deadheading and U-turning those big long lines that run to the internal heaters. Uh, you'll see what I mean. The only real lesson learned there was uh, not to bring a five gallon bucket to the draining of a prison bus heating system. You can see I switched over to this big old tub and it is uh, just about drained. All right, so what is going on right now? Well, uh, first of all, I'm underneath the bus, and if you've ever worked under a car, you know there's not much room. I'm just sitting up under this thing. Uh, what I'm doing is I've cut these lines that go to all the heaters uh, back in the bus because, you know, in the middle of winter, who needs heat? And um, uh, the actual plan is to replace those heaters with a different heating system. We'll get to that later. Uh, right now I'm just looping these lines so uh, this line comes uh, this line comes from the engine goes up to the defrost heaters and then comes out this way I've cut it and this goes back to the engine and uh, as you saw I just kind of uh, pilfered some copper off uh, one of those heaters that was back in the bus and I'm going to use this to make my turn so that this loops around these lines over here are the ones that went back in the in the bus and I'm just going to uh, pull these out in a minute and just get rid of them Okay, so now I've got a loop. Um, radiator fluid coming here, going up to the defrost uh, for the driver windshield, and then it just loops back around to the engine. on these heaters if you're doing a job like this um, on your own prison bus or school bus or whatever uh, cut these lines down underneath the bus and let them bleed out before you cut them up here if not you'll end up with coolant all over the bus which probably isn't the first thing that's been spilled on this prison bus but uh, you don't need more junk up here than you've already got Okay, so here's where we are with the prison bus renovation. I got all the heaters out. Um, they're completely removed. I had some air conditioner dudes come by to see if they could pull the coolant out of these air conditioners and they couldn't get to the valves. I think for now I'm gonna keep them up on the ceiling and ultimately try to transition them down into some cabinets. So uh, what I'm gonna do, and you can see this here, is um, uh, these air conditioner lines run down through the plywood. So I've got a Dremel out and I'm gonna uh, cut that plywood out and get the last sheets of plywood out. Um, 